What's going on you guys? I hope you guys are having a great morning, evening, or afternoon whenever you guys may be watching this video. If you guys are new here, my name is Justin and this is my 2023 Toyota GR86. So if you guys own a GR86 or a BRZ or actually in the market for one, I'm sure you guys have probably heard about the occurring issue that they're having with the RTV silicone. I'm not going to dive too much into it because I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about it, but Pretty much what it is, is like it's a silicone based substance that they use to enclose the oil pan together and I'm pretty sure they applied way too much from factory and that's getting lodged in the oil pan which is then getting sucked up into the oil pickup tube. From there, I mean it, the oil pickup tube is doing its job but the RTV is getting kind of like clogged inside the oil pickup tube which is then leading to a clogging of the oil which then leads to oil starvation which could then lead to a <laughs> unfortunately a, um, a broken motor if you guys have watched some of my other videos before i've mentioned before that i actually worked at a lexus dealership and one of the homies there is a mechanic named frankie and he said that he'd actually help me do this job instead of paying <laughs> toyota a thousand plus dollars to do it save me a bunch of money so it really means a lot to me that he's going to help me do this so with that being said i actually already bought all the uh, necessary stuff i got if you guys are curious as to what oil you should buy for these i've been told pens oil full synthetic ow20 and then i went to toyota dealership the other day and bought they like the subaru oil filter and the gasket for the drain plug which is jesus i can't even get this thing out right here here's the part number i'm pretty sure for this one and the part number for this one if you guys are interested so a huge shout out to the homie frankie for helping me do this it's going to mean so much to me and uh it's really just going to give me that extra security that i don't have to worry about anything happening with my car and that that way I can truly enjoy it because I'm sure if you guys have seen my other videos you guys know I like to have my fun with this thing like it's I daily drive it but I also like to have fun <laughs> at the same time so you know this thing doesn't just get like normal driven you know it, it, it has its fun gets it swung around a corner a couple times you know it's raced a few people <laughs> but so having this rtv cleaned out will just give me that extra security that i know have any issues i know if you guys have really researched into this the pickup tube isn't the only place that the uh, silicone is getting clogged up or like is having an occurrence there but for right now this is all i can really do so i'm just gonna get this done i was thinking about potentially buying a baffle kit if you guys have heard, they make like baffle kits that you can put in the oil pan to help this issue. But um, I kind of wanted to just see how it would do with just the um, just the RTV clean out. And from there on, maybe in like another 10,000 miles from now, I can actually just go ahead and just do this whole process again and maybe put a baffle kit in it then. Speaking of 10,000 miles, if you guys can probably tell, it's a big deal. It's a big time in this GR86 life. Look at that. It's already hit 10,000 miles. That's so crazy to me, man. Wow. So I actually ordered the car last year in March 2022, and um, it got delivered on September 4th of that year. I picked it up. September 5th after getting the windows tinted from the factory, which was a big bonus. That was super nice It's not super dark. It's actually 15% a lot of people actually ask me that all the time What percent window tint that I have? It's 15 all around on the winch uh, the back windshield The side windows I have the uh, just a sun strip on the windshield that way. It's a little bit easier for me to see and uh, Yeah, so I just, it's its awesome to me that it's already got 10,000 miles. I'm never going to sell this car, so it doesn't really matter what the mileage is at. So, but it's just awesome to me that it's already been 10,000 miles that I've owned this 86. So with that being said, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is get everything thrown into the trunk. And I'm going to go out and head out to Lexus.
guys, so we just pulled up to Lexus now. We just made it here. Um, I got here a little early. Uh, it's 9.20 and I said I was gonna meet Frankie around like 10-ish, but I just wanted to make sure I got here in time. But um, what I'm gonna do is probably just pull the car up onto the lift once he gets here. This job really isn't too hard. I mean, it's mostly just time consuming because once we get everything done, like the oil pan dropped, we get it all cleaned out. Once we're going ahead and trying to put the oil pan back on, the silicone that we use has to tr cure, I'm pretty sure for like one or two hours before you can put new oil back into the car. So that's what's gonna take the longest time, honestly. I'm guessing this is gonna take anywhere from like two to three hours, if I had to guess. But I'll try and get as much footage as I possibly can for you guys. Um, I don't want to get in Frankie's way. I, I don't trust myself to do this job, which is why I was going to pay Toyota to do it to begin with. But um, Frankie's the man. He's going to help me out and save me a shit ton of money. And uh, plus that way, I know it's going to be done right. Because I've heard a lot of stuff about taking cars to like dealerships and then them not like doing the job that they pay them to do, which is pretty absurd, I felt like. And um, so at least this way, I know it's done right. <laughs> I'm literally sitting there watching him do it and I'll probably help out if I can I mean I don't want to like I said I don't want to get in his way at all so but um so yeah I'll just I'll pick up the camera once he gets here and I'll pull the car up onto the lift got up to the shop right now we just pulled the car up onto the lift We're just waiting on Frankie all right you guys so Frankie just pulled up you guys can tell he has a gen 1 86 BRZ he actually has an FRS I'm pretty sure and he's also on gram lights just like how I am he's got black ones and I have white ones it's so dope, man. His thing is super, super clean, man. Super clean. Manual as well. I don't know what exactly he has done to it, but um, sounds pretty nice. It looks really great. I think it, they look so sick together. He's actually got my 86 up under the lift right now. He's draining the oil. So once we get the oil drained, he's going to pull the headers off and go ahead and get started cleaning the RTV out. All right, you guys, so Frankie just got the skid tray and the headers taken off. This is what it looks like right now. There's the oil pan, just to give you guys an idea of how it looks. All right, you guys, let's see how bad it is up in there. You can see. Oh, yeah, I can literally, I can see it. I don't know if I can get it with, on camera or not, but let me see if I can. <laughs> That's horrible. I can literally clearly see it in there. Oh, my God. Jeez, man, that's <laughs> just sitting in there, bro. That's crazy. There's more. There's a There's like a little lip inside. All right, you guys, so this is so far what we've found inside the pickup tube. Dude, it's ridiculous how bad that is. Damn. We got most of the stuff taken out, uh, the RTV silicone stuff taken out. I mean, for 10,000 miles, it's really not too bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and just make sure all the rest of the stuff is taken out before we put the oil pan back up into the car. So I'll pick up the camera once we have everything taken out out of the oil. So we got the oil pan all cleaned off now. You got all the silicone off of it. Look how much silicone is just around that stuff right there, man. That's ridiculous. So he's gonna get it all cleaned up now and then we're gonna get the oil pan thrown back on the car, get the headers thrown back on the car as well. Also the skid plate and then put new oil back in the car and we should be all good to go after that. So Frankie just pretty much got a angle grinder or like a sanding grinder and uh, it went around the upper oil pan just to get all the excess RTV off of it to make sure it's clean. That way when he puts a new bead on the actual oil pan, everything will stick correctly and it will be good. So that's pretty much as clean as it's gonna get. We already cleaned out 
everything on the inside of the pickup, so that should be good now as well. Um, so, I guess we'll just stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we got Frankie putting the uh, bead of RTV silicone back on it right now. A little thin layer all the way around it, and um, that way we can close the uh, oil pan back up afterwards. So I'll show you guys how it looks once he gets the uh, bead set all the way around the oil pan. If you guys are doing this yourself, there's actually a little diagram as to how it's supposed to be on right there. So I'm gonna just set the bead, set on the bead right now. All right. Alrighty guys, so we just got, Frankie just got the bead all laid down on the uh, oil pan. Make sure that there's some all the way around. Frankie just got everything put back up now. I mean, he just has to torque down the headers and everything and then throw the skid tray back up into the car. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I mean, it's all cleaned out now. Thankfully, we now we shouldn't have to worry about it. RTV for a while or ever again. So that should be a good thing. Um, other than that, I'll let him go ahead and get finished bolting and torquing everything down. And that should be it, you guys. All right, you guys, so everything is pretty much done now. Um, all that we have left to do is just to put oil back in the car. We already got the new filter on and everything. So literally all that's left is just wait to have this silicone cure and dry. And after that, we'll put the new oil in it and we should be all good to go. All right, you guys, so I'm back in the 86 now. I'm on my way home right now. Everything went great. I mean, I really have no issues and no concerns. I'm really thankful that Frankie was able to do this for me. He saved me so much money rather than going to Toyota and having this them do it. Um, if you guys are interested in following his page, I'll leave his Instagram down right here in the description or on the screen right here. That way you guys can follow his page and see his FRS in case you guys are interested. Um, huge shout out again to him for doing this job for me. I would not have been able to do this by myself. And especially in my <laughs> especially in my garage there's would have been no way I would have been able to do this on my own so it, it really helped me out a lot and it makes me feel so much more secure now now that this RTV has been cleaned out and you know all the pickup tubes been cleaned out whatnot so if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a like down below um, it helps me out so much subscribe if you guys are new that way you guys can stay up to date on all the content that I'm always putting out and until then I'll see you guys in the next one take care <laughs>